Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and Helga. Welcome to the Q Force. You have been assembled here because each of you is an expert in your particular field. From Al's mastery of electronics to Skid's nerves of steel hey! to Helga's sensual powers of seduction. Each of you has shown that you are worthy to wear the Q. Years ago, I single-handedly defeated Dr. Nefarious, but like a rash on the galaxy's backside, he has flared up again. Our first mission will be to infiltrate the Doctor's top secret base on planet Aquatos. Impossible, you say? Perhaps for a lesser strategist? Behold, my brilliant plan! First, Ratchet and Clank will descend to the sea floor and wade through a series of tunnels flooded with waist-high raw sewage. What? Please hold your questions until the end of the presentation. After infiltrating the base, our agents will split up. Clank will enter the base's ventilation system where he will locate and deploy this banana-guided autonomous monkey device. Or the GAMD. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ratchet will use his extensive knowledge of the Tyranoid language and customs to win the trust of the bloodthirsty alien guards. Finally, our agents will make their way to Nefarious's personal office, steal everything that isn't nailed down, and exfiltrate the base completely undetected. That's crazy! But it just might work. Hey guys, good to me. Welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. We had left off doing the Annihilation Nation Arena, and now we're going the, to the planet Aquados. Doing that little mission Quirk wanted us to do. Alright, by the way, happy Halloween, everyone. This is the time I'm recording it as Halloween. When are you going to play your new comic? Uh, we're gonna play the comic first, actually. Alright, so let's do the second vid comic. Quark, comic episode two. Ariba Amoeba. A new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids, born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Dr. Nefarious. To think, they called me insane, Lawrence. We'll see who's insane when my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet! Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying no good. Oof. Right, now where were we? From the moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head-on assault without hesitation. I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous amoeboid horde. Alright. Beat some dudes up with Captain Quirk. That's a lot of these dudes this time, jeez. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a flamethrower. Uh, we need to get the whatchamacallit thing over there. Hold on. Let me down. There we go. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, there's a thing up there. Can I reach that? No. How do I reach that? Oh, we do the wall, okay. Oh, that's not fair, dude. Come on. Oh, 
Dude, let me drop down. There we go. Okay. This way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. What's the point of the little walls then? Come on. Okay. Uh, oh, we can beat those up. Oh. Did not know that. I know my cam covered that. That was just a uh, ten point thingy. Come on, that's not fair, dude. I don't want to die. Nice titanium bolt. There we go, easy. His amoeboid army defeated, Dr. Nefarious had no choice but to flee Blackwater City in disgrace. You've not seen the last to me. I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years. <laughs> Dr. Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again, and sooner than he realized. For a true hero like Captain Quark will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <coughs> what? I held my breath. Alright guys, so I'm going to cut the episode here. I'll see you guys in the next episode when we go to the planet Aquatos. Have a good one.